In 2018, the residents of this neighborhood were all told to pack their bags and leave for good. If they hadn't already left by 2019, they would be forced to leave as their home was no longer owned by them. It was owned by an entity. Demonstrators appeared before the meeting to protest against the developer, the Pyramid Corporation. For years now, the Pyramid Corporation has secretly been buying up all the homes nearby Crossgates Mall in Albany, New York, for a proposed Costco to be built on site. Nearby residents are now suing, claiming truck traffic and the destruction of the natural environment will greatly affect their way of life. The homes were planned to be demolished years ago, but due to a couple holdouts and legal limbo, they still stand today, slowly decaying. Let's explore and see what we can find that's been left behind. Supposedly Costco bought all these homes. It's a very strange story because the homes are still sitting abandoned today and there's a couple that are still lived in. A lot of controversy surrounded this neighborhood. At first a lot of people just didn't want to leave and eventually uh, people started moving out. You know, maybe they were paid good money and everything. And what happened after that was people in surrounding neighborhoods started getting worried about this big facility that was gonna be built here. So even today, there's still protests going on about this whole buyout event and what's gonna go here. But in the meantime, all these homes are just sitting in limbo and they're starting to become more and more overgrown. And um, it's starting to look pretty apocalyptic, I would say right now. But anyways, guys, let's start exploring and see what we can find that was left behind in some of these homes. So there is a mail truck right here, so we're not going to be over here at the beginning. I don't think he really cares. He's just hanging out. But we're going to start with these two houses right here in the corner and uh, continue on from there. There's quite a few homes in this neighborhood, so I'm really excited to see this. I'm thinking this was a uh, 1960s neighborhood based on how some of these houses look. Oh, for sure, yeah. Not too modern. So this one right here seems to be uh, one of the most decayed. Um, we see a lot of decay, a lot of mold. This is probably the, the dining room, maybe. Uh, or the light yeah, because you see that light? That's probably where the, uh, the table was, right under that. You would have other meals. The kitchen is probably... Maybe right behind the stairs. Imagine them that they would have had like their probably their dinner and stuff around here, I would say. Almost likely, yeah. You know, at least one table. The floor is pretty bad. You, you see that? Table, yeah. Where's it going, bro? Am I trying to find a way out? <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? Dude, what if there's like a giant hive in here? Yeah, hopefully uh, not. That's what I'm afraid of. I think I think down goes here though. Okay. Well. That's crazy. I don't know if it's safe to go up to those bedrooms right there. Yeah, there's nothing even in here. No. So we're going to the next house. I wanted to point out, uh, if you look right here, there's um, some tire, or not tire tracks, but there's just kind of tracks in the ground. And if you'll notice, those trees, they're all cut here. And uh, I think that's because uh, there was a huge machine that went through here and just destroyed all the trees. And that was probably a year or two ago when they thought plans were going to work, but Clearly, the plans haven't worked out. So this has been like a, a failed kind of project almost. It, it was supposed to be quick by the looks of it, and um, not everybody complied, so it seems they just um, abandoned everything for now. Yeah, dude, in Illinois, I mean, from what I see, dude, they wreck these within like a month to five months. This, it looks like it's been abandoned for four years, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the same situation that I usually see. Must be some major holdbacks. Oh, for sure. There's two doorknobs, and that's bolted shut. We gotta go. We go to the back, or the garage on the side. Yeah. Try to find a way. I love the pillars, though. Right. Whoa. Should we? Is that worth a TikTok? Maybe. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna show our cameras off and film with our phones real quick. Whoa, what was that alarm from? What do you think? Dude, it was um, it was a tornado alarm, I yeah, think. There's tornadoes here? I, I don't know. Yeah. We have that sometimes. What's well, in New York? I don't think New York has too many tornadoes. New York doesn't have tornadoes? I don't think so, no. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. That's why I saw a video uh, 
maybe a month or two ago of uh, some other urban explorer here she posted a, a picture and a video and there was a car right here it was like a, a white uh, Toyota but I don't know what happened to that maybe someone stole it it was abandoned someone stole it who knows yeah or they placed it there yeah there's some more tracks on the ground here as well hopefully you can get inside More luxury than the other house. Yeah, no, it's a big area. The couch is cool too. Should we go up the stairs? I think we should. Look how much people destroyed this house though. Look at that mirror too. Look at this, dude. Very, very tall ceilings, the detail on that mirror. It's beautiful as well. This would have been pretty cool when it was fresh. Oh, for sure, yeah. It's sad the local kids got to it. Yeah, the walls are gone, dude. This one's totally gone. Yeah. Wow. Looks like the kitchen here was uh, never updated. Still looks like it used to look in maybe the 60s. That's pretty old right there, too. Look at that. Sure, all the old knobs. Yeah, kind of cool, old style. Oh, that's sick. Look yeah. at the numbers over there. They took care of their house. Beautiful, yeah. Sad to see all the uh, improvements they made, all the memories, and just gone now, you know? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Shame. There's even a roof access point over here. If you go through, uh, if you go through this door. Yeah. There's like a shed back here. Uh, Silent Hills is wondering if that's a pool. I don't think there's a pool back there. But it would have been nice. Look, a playground and everything. This room is probably a kitchen. If you look at the door, there's two Hello Kitty uh, stickers right here. Oh and yeah. Look at this on the walls. That's awesome. That's pretty unique, man. Yeah. Somebody painted that with their own hands. For sure. Wow. It's sad. Look at the front door of this house. That's about a fall. Oh dude, it's full of stuff. Yo. Actually? Yeah. Alright, that was literally about a fall. Uh, so I didn't want it to fall on my head. I just pushed it through But look at all this stuff guys They certainly left a lot behind This is kind of crazy Unfortunately now it's been trashed, but you can get like a, a semblance of you know What was all in here a bunch of stuff? I mean we have closes a purse we have clothes <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, shoes. Oh my gosh. This is full of stuff. There's an old, super old violin. Somebody unfortunately destroyed. A whole lot of everything. Whoa. Dude, what happened what? here? This is- Violin, dude, what? This is odd, dude. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with it, all this. So much good stuff. Yeah. I think this was mental illness, like hoarding, because there's like straight up used junk garbage everywhere. So there we go. Store away self storage. So there was even more junk that wasn't on this property. Definitely a hoarding issue. I feel bad for the. The owner that lived here. I'm not gonna show the address, but here we got an old old photo of the previous resident that lived here. So it must have been a family. I haven't even checked out the other rooms. I'm curious on what we'll see. Here's the bathroom. All sorts of items placed all around. Dolls. Soaps. There's totally a little kid. This was a family. So Enrique went to get uh, water. He's thirsty. But um, it smells pretty bad in here, guys. And let me show you something crazy in a second. So there's like flies all around here. Because the fridge 
This bus definitely full of stuff. I bring through my mouth actually. This is kind of unbelievable. Um, I've seen this uh, quite a few times before in abandoned neighborhoods, but uh, it's uh, still, you know, like, where did they go and why did they leave all their stuff? I mean, something must have happened. I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is the garage, folks. Oh, it smells like food, dude. It's so bad. Like raw food. This is kind of crazy, though. Look at that old computer. Oh, man. Why would you don't need all this stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you store all this? What's the point? It appears on the floor they had a matchbox, uh, matchbox collection, match collection, whatever. But this is kind of crazy. They straight up got up and left one day. Oh man, and we got another room here. It appears, I mean, some stuff is missing, like the bed sheets, or it's been thrown about, I think, is more like the case. But look, here's a school binder. Full of um, school, school books. Oh my gosh. There's homework in here. Sometimes when I get depressed, I draw dead bodies like this, but sometimes better. Eh, that's a phase. I've been through that. Oh. You know, maybe I shouldn't be looking through all this stuff. Yo! You know the, the house? Yeah. There's a car there now. Okay, what kind of car? It is a, uh, like a gray Camry. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Of course. You got my light. Dude, take a look at this. So annoying because I'm really bad. <laughs> Whoa. That's uh Dude. Yeah, that's sad. You just can't bully or something. Maybe. Oh, we got a phone here too. Look at that, dude. There's a phone. No way. Just left behind. Wow. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm not going to go too much into detail about these books, but I did read through them, and it is personal, so I'm not going to, you know, um, show that to the world, obviously. But there is just a ton of stuff here still to, to look through. It's kind of old style here. I haven't seen one of these in a minute. Bunch of stuff, man. So this is probably the younger girl's room here. I'm absolutely shocked how they could have just left all this stuff behind. All right, so we're gonna go to the basement here. That's full of stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of scared to go down there because of all the garbage. It's probably fine to walk. I mean, that just looks insanely hoarded. It's more than two. Mm, that's bad. Old computer, everything's left. Really? Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's real moldy. This is outrageous. It's truly a mystery to me why they left everything behind if they were bought out. Oh, this would have been nice. This TV room. Whoa, they had like three beds here, dude. Jeez. I wonder what that's all about. I guess, I think they had a lot of kids. Wow. Oh man. Dude, they straight up left everything behind. Dude, this is like a nicer computer. Dude, electric guitar, bro. 
Right over there. Whoa. Some guitar, yeah. This is outrageous. This was totally another bedroom. There's posters on the wall and beds and maybe a teenage boy was living here. Bunch of alcohol. Yep. Makes sense. Backpack there with stuff in it. I can't imagine how this would have looked before people trashed it. It probably would have been pretty cool. Shotgun toy there. Oh, pong table. Whoa. They had a Nissan, it seems like. Is this is this all tobacco? Yeah. It's unrolled uh, cigarette too. Oh dude. Wow. Whole bunch of stuff. Yo. iPod. iPod iPhone 4. Whoa, yeah. It's been around that time then. Oh! Whoa! Yo! That's kind of look. They, they have some more clothes here as well. Very interesting. I'm so curious on what, what, what caused this to become like this. There's a wallet? Dude, a wallet. Open up tons of stuff inside. Cards in here and stuff, I think. Insurance. Whoa. Triple A, bunch of receipts. Some more cards and whatnot here. Even more. A lot of papers. Nothing that important. Bunch. No. I thought it was credit cards at first. <laughs> That's how cars and stuff have to go. If there's any change in here, that'd be cool. Cool to see. No, it's all empty too. Did you like that one? Oh, that was so cool. It's frozen in time. You can really get a good uh, good view of how the old owners lived. Very sad. I wonder if there's any more like that, huh? I think there might be. Wow. Definitely for sure. Got some more homes here. And actually, this one right here is still lived in, believe it or not. Maybe we could see what they uh, have to say if they're around. But I think we're gonna go check out this one here, this ranch style home. Yeah, so we got this house right here. It seems it has a sign on the door. Dude, there's like stuff jumping up off the ground. What is this stuff? Dude, there, there's something jumping. I think it's part of the plant. Oh wow, what? Yeah, it's a plant. It's a plant? Yeah, that's sick. Oh! What? Dude, it like hit me in the face. What is this? <laughs> what? It's these. Small things right here. What? That's crazy, they're like shooting out. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Natural gas info. They shut it off. Might be open back here. It appears it is. In a storm shelter, actually, pretty cool. Huh. Set down. Look at that, guys. I've never seen one of these at a ranch home before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sick. Cool bar back here. See these a lot in these ranch homes. Mostly empty. Strangely, there's um, construction materials in these homes, I've noticed. What even exactly is it? The question is, huh, that's carpet. That is strange. There's carpet. Really? Yeah, and there's another garage that had that stuff too. Yeah. 
they trying to remodel or? There's scrap in there. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, empty. Oh, someone was trying to remove the fireplace, it seems. I found a tick on me. Oh, look on the ground, they made markings. Probably for a future project. Oh yeah, so this is the house that's lived, that's lived in. Uh, I don't know if we should go up uh, to this one or those, but we'll give it a shot. Gonna walk over here, see what's up, I guess. All the curtains are up on this one too. It's kind of strange. Oh, that's freshly locked. Actually, it's low-key full of stuff. Actually, so this one's a, a no-go for now because the, uh, the neighbor, but we got some more homes here we can check out. Look at this stuff. A bunch of sea urchins. This one looks really long abandoned. Door could be wide open. This is uh, an interesting front room as you walk in the front door. And that one's locked. So this one's locked too, but look at that. It's kind of nice in there. Well, until you see that room back there. Strange, they left office stuff. Maybe this was some sort of office for someone's home, I don't know. You got pallets here. Kind of strange. What do you think this was? You Maybe see they just had an office, yeah. An office. yeah. They just left what they did need, you know. They just moved to the new home and bought whatever else, you know. Makes sense. Yeah. I still wonder why they left everything in that one house. Yeah. History, really. Yeah. Creeps me out. Yeah. Next house right here. Well, this is pretty cool. Look at this kind of backyard look. It's pretty beautiful. Look, they had a um, some sort of brick setup here. I really like this, whatever this was. It's pretty cool. Well, look at that. They even had like a basketball area. A bar too. A bar? Oh, that's what that is. Wow. I like that. It's all locked. It's all locked. Dude, I think some of these houses were abandoned like longer than others. It's probably the, the people that left immediately. Yeah. Versus the other people that had stayed. A yeah. More. This has been sitting for a while. It's funny because we've gone through all these intricate ways to uh, get into these homes and the front door is just wide open. They climb at their windows and all that. Hopefully this garage is open at least. And Super curious on what's in here. Oh. Oh, you, dude. Do I heard some? Yo. Dude, he's looking. He's watching. I heard something flying towards us, dude. Look, this was a driveway though. This is so overgrown. Do you think they cut those trees down or they, they fell themselves? This one definitely fell. Yeah. But it's a lot, kind of. Dude, this has been abandoned for a long time. Look, there's a tree growing through it. Wow. Over here. Dude, I wonder how long ago this was abandoned. This is kind of crazy. We can look on Street View on Google and yeah. take a look. It only goes back 16 years, really. Okay. Um, and then that's it. Anyways, I, I kind of want to see what's in the garage. Quite a bit of stuff left behind here. This has been sitting for a while. Totally been sitting. Looks like they had some kind of workshop here. Totally had a workshop. Bunch of wires. We got some purses. Oh, we got a John Deere trailer. I need me one of those, huh? 
Chicago Bears. That's awesome. Look at that, guys. That's a refreshing thing to see. A bunch of tapes. Interesting. So this garage being full of stuff makes me think there is stuff in the original house. Maybe there's a door open. That's pretty cool though, look at this. Nice. Okay. Everything's inside? Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Dang. Yeah, we, got, we gotta find a way into the back. There has to be some open way. I think so. If you look through there, there's couches and Oh, bet. I saw two chairs, a bunch of stuff. Dang. All right, guys, we found a way inside. I'm pretty excited. Looks like a tight squeeze though, but whatever works. <laughs> wow. Doesn't matter, there we go. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Dude. Whoa, there's so clothes left behind and everything. So much left. What is this? Dude. This is crazy. All the amenities and everything is left behind. Old clam. Oh, dude, there's pictures here, guys. I wonder if there's any inside the house. This looks like it was taken inside the house before it was abandoned. Might be able to find the exact room, I'm not sure. This is kind of crazy. So we have a, a microwave here, a TV still left. Oh, gross. There's a fridge with food in there. So this might have been abandoned around 2010 or so, I don't know. This is kind of crazy. That's strange. Looks like red paint. A little bit concerning that all this stuff is left. There's a whole thing back here too for probably full of stuff. I, mean, I don't know if this is the neighborhood. It doesn't look like it. That's pretty, pretty sad to see guys. Not to mention all the clothes and other items that were thrown about here. The garage is full too. Really? Everything's there. Really? No car, but uh, other than that, yeah. So here's the garage, folks. It smells very bad. Completely full of stuff. It was likely an older person that lived here. Yeah, I see it. Looks like a bunch of nothing though, to be honest. Maybe they had a sale, maybe they're trying to move out. You can get a kind of idea on what car they drove. An 03 Toyota Camry, looks like. Okay, the strange part is the rest of the home kind of looks like this. And I have a theory on why. See? Where's all the other items? There's just this stuff here. It's a bit strange to me. Look, this is empty. Actually, a pretty large house. This room is mainly empty. Whoa, 
2009. You see, there's nothing in here really. This room, I mean, it has some food, I guess. I like the setup of this home, actually. Oh my gosh, there actually might be food left, but it's like cleared out. There's definitely food at some point. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's nasty. Oh, whoa. Oh, sorry. Check out this beautiful chair, guys. Guys, don't open the fridges like I do. It's really not a good idea. But this chair, look. This chair looks like it's like from a um, hundred years ago or so. Awesome. The detailing on this and everything. I like this. Very nice. And here's this room. Dude, it's crazy. You see there's anything? So many pictures. There's so many clothes. There's so many like. It's insane. Dude, you you know why I think this room is intact and the rest aren't? Why? Because I I think they passed away. Like whoever lived in this specific room passed away, and they, the people who lived here couldn't bear to we go through their stuff, so they just sold everything else out of the house, and they couldn't even come in here. They didn't want to. And then eventually the big corporation came and bought everybody out. That's sad. Wow. Yeah. So all this is just. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm almost wondering what's underneath this um, bed here. It looks like another cushion. If there's like a stain or something, because like why is this over that? You know. Yeah. Wow. There'll be something bad under there. I hope not. Yeah. Let's hope for the best, but. Yeah. It's really sad. We should uh. Definitely gotta respect them and uh, mm -hmm. be mindful of that. You find anything though? Yeah, I mean, there's this stuff looks kind of like jewelry. There's that old check over here or something. We're just trying to find out the past of this place, really. Oh, delivery. Their name. Yeah, their name's right here. Oh, geez. This probably used to carry some uh, some type of jewelry, maybe. And who knows what's in these drawers? So there's still more rooms to this house. It's actually pretty pretty large. And there are a couple items left about here too. And some shorts. Uh, stand up table, maybe. Let's see, does this say 09? Um, don't know. This was abandoned around August though, it seems. Don't know what year. This says, what year? 2010. So there's a chance this was abandoned around 2010, believe it or not. Just quite a long time ago. All right, this is an awesome calendar. Look at that, 2010. So I believe that this was totally abandoned around 2010. What an awesome calendar though. Look at that. Oh man, I kind of want this. Look at that. When, when do you see a dark night calendar like that? It's pretty awesome. So guys, there is a, uh, I had to walk by that fridge. There is a basement down here. It appears there's a bunch of items here too. Holy. Mm. Whoa. So much stuff. Look at all these clothes. Whoa. Yeah. I imagine they must have had an estate sale or something. This is pretty wild. Look how large, you can see the the whole house is open on the basement. So this is like how large it is, which is pretty large compared to the other houses. There's zero walls here besides maybe one. 
We got plenty of things left behind. I mean, this is kind of junk. If I'm assuming, if I am right and there was an estate sale, all the stuff here, maybe some of the stuff here, is completely worthless. But uh, you never know, There's, there could be some very interesting items left behind. You going back up? Okay. Wow. All these uh, bags. Huh. I'm not too concerned about mold. I just won't be down here for a long time and I'm not going to disturb anything. This is certainly weird. Oh, look at that. Old uh, style kind of heating service, heating machine. Whole bunch of stuff. I assume all this is worthless. We could find something here. Look at this. We got some awards. This is from a company. So they worked at some company called Pyramid. I'm not going to go too into detail on that as it is personal to whoever used to live here. However, truly a Strange find in this house. All this stuff, guys. It's molded shut. Gross. Well, I'm gonna head back up. It might be. Some of these might be. Oh, you found more. Yeah, there were tons under uh, this box right here. This might have been their car. And uh, right here is um, their kid and their grandpa. Oh, this might have been an older lady. Yeah, there's the grandma right there. Could this have been this house? No, I don't think so. Right? This might have been the grandma's house. I don't know. I think the grandmother used to live here, maybe. Someone relatively long, uh, young lived here, though. 50th. That might be our answer right there. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we got a whole nother block, and then past there, another row. So let's check this uh, house out. So we found another home. And look at that moss growing up there. Pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything left in the garage. Whole bunch of nothing besides like construction equipment, which I find weird. So I was just notified on the phone that somebody's right in front of this house, waiting. Walking over there, the whole the whole path smells like perfume, dude. That's hilarious. He's like right over there. That's so weird. Huh. I, don't know, I don't know what he was doing. Dude, that's actually hilarious. Yeah. Why was he spraying perfume? He's right there, not on that door, but the one on the right. I was walking back from the car, I saw just a, a figure staying there. And I, I looked, I saw a movement, it was someone. It was just, I saw him spraying something. And then he walked back <laughs> Yeah, I have a video of it. I have a video of him walking back. All right, so I guess the coast is clear. Look at this cute little house, I like it. Very odd, someone was like, just walked up. Look at, look at this. It's not like weed. Oh, he, he was totally smoking here. Oh, that's why I sprayed the perfume. Yep, and he went back to work. Whoa, look at this. It's actually decently nice in here. Whoa. So this house might have been updated recently by the looks of it. And maybe this guy comes here and smokes. Huh. 
Look at that. Totally. Because, I mean, this is right by work and homes. Whoa, this is a pretty well-shaped house. More modern. I like it. Mm -hmm. The lighting would be amazing. The couch over right here, TV up there. You can even see the marking. Oh yeah. Or a painting. Yeah, the lights would be amazing. Mhm. Mm All right, guys. So it's starting to rain right now. So um, I'll cut back when it's not raining. We're gonna get some food, and if it. Uh, if it looks darker, that's why we cut, we maybe like an hour in the future here. So I'll see you guys in an hour. Well, we are back. I just flew the drone. No more rain, all shine. So uh, we got uh, a couple more homes to check out. Let's keep going. So we just checked out this one right here. And uh, we got two right here we wanna kinda see. Driveway super overgrown, but that's all right. I think this just opens. Okay. Well, that leads to nothing, but let's go through. Rather than walk through the grass. Yeah. All right. Okay. Screen doors. Screen doors. Oh. Yeah. But. Oh man. Oh. oh. Shenanigans going on at the pool, dude. What do you mean? Oh. Animals and noises going on. Bro, look at the door. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. How does this get that bad? I don't even know. Bro, this house is like newer. Like, Holy they smokes. repainted and stuff. Yikes, this is bad. Look at all that mold, guys. Whoa. Yeah, dude, this is like new paint too. So it's kind of crazy how easy, how, how badly this fell into disrepair. Look at this beautiful kind of kitchen there. I like the way it's all set up here. We got a basement too. I bet you there's nothing in here. I ain't staying in here too long, guys. <laughs> no, sir. Let's get a poop out of here. Yeah. Let's climb upstairs real quick just to see what we can see. This might be an even older house than the rest of them, for all I know. It actually goes up. It's pretty, pretty neat, I'd say. Oh man, it's bad in here. Yeah, there's there's nothing here, guys. The socks up. Yo, it keeps the ticks off. You know, if you're crawling up, you could see. You look kind of stupid, but you know, it's a chance we gotta take. <laughs> oh, look at this house up here. Wait, do they both have pools? Nah. So this one's empty, I'm assuming. It's right in front of the other house. Forget that. But look, this, this one's got a pool. I think that's kind of cool. And, uh, what do we have here? We have a bunch of creatures in there. Do you see them? Bunch of tadpoles, guys. All in there, guys. All these little, these little dots. Let's try to get a close up here, guys. Uh, do we see them? All these little guys are tadpoles. All in this pool. It's absolutely full of them. Look at that. There we go. Oh, he got away. It's really nice out now. 
Check out this awesome garden they kind of got back here. Or what was. Cool little fence. Oh, this is abandoned too, by the way. These apartments. Don't know if it's worth checking out. I don't think they're open, but they're pretty large. Eh, I like to do houses. Pretty neat though. This house oh, up at the main road is actually abandoned too, I think. Oh wow, look at that guys. Hopefully we don't get any digs on us because I mean all the, all the brush, all the shrubbery, you know, it's just really bad. Alright, so I think this is the only way inside the house. Oh, no way, dude! What? Bird poop, bro! <laughs> dude! It happens. Exactly where I touched. No way. This ain't safe. It's about to fall off, actually. We made it. Man, I don't know if it was worth the bird poop, dude. I mean, it's a cool house. Large house. It's actually pretty nice in here. So, I think this was a flat, like an apartment. And, cause look, there's a kitchen, so the main part where the family lives should be down here, I think. So this is kind of the, the main part, I think. There's a sign here. Whoa. This says, we are providing notice that you are on private property owned by Pyramid Management Group. You must remove your personal items immediately and leave this property. Con contact mall management. That's crazy. So there's like, pe the people, whoever lived here, like they, they were still living here after they got bought out and they were kind of forced to leave. That's pretty crazy. Trespassing on mall property. This is recent too. So whoever lived here recently lived here, which is pretty crazy. And they overstayed their welcome. What do you think? That's scary. Yeah, yeah. dude. And if they, if they, they don't have a choice but to leave, you know? Yeah. Wild. I mean, look at this beautiful home. They had a really nice kind of sunroom hangout area. Beautiful garden. And a uh, whole bunch of everything. We can go on the roof here. And uh, so you get a pretty decent view. So there's like a whole, this, is, this house splits in half. So this is the other side, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, I don't know how to get in there. So I guess I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, folks, we're on this side now, the side where the person that lives there is, and uh, look at that, it looks pretty cool now with the sun and everything. There's a giant tree that's fallen over, it's pretty cool. Here's another sign up at front. Just to show you. They're pretty mad. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna see if we can get in here real quick. That tree was definitely cut down recently by the looks of it. It's pretty cool because, I mean, the, the moss on the roof is a lot. It's pretty nice. But yeah, these tree machines kind of just ransacked this, all the backyards of these homes by the looks of it. Right now we're by the one that's lived in. Anyways, guys, this is that house. And there's a couple things actually in here. Looks like weird tins or something. What's the use? Three CDs? I don't know. What's Looks the like cars. Are they Whoa. full? Oh no, there's nothing there. That's a, dude, that's a lot of. No way. Jeez. 
Oh, dude. There's a squirrel here. There's um, some newspapers here. A, bunch, a whole collection of them, actually. This one's from 1986. Look at that guy. So they were sheriffs, whoever lived in this home, by the looks of it. Oh, wow. And there's a table here. Ultimately, not too much else. Ultimately, a kind of empty home. They never moved their bed, however. All right, guys, next house is up. Look at that, they had a beautiful shed in their backyard. There's that thing again. It's creepy, not gonna lie, especially when we're here. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, should be one of these doors. Oops. Well, that works. Another empty looking home, it seems. Less decay, but pretty empty. Look at this brickwork and, and cool fireplace, though. There's some charm here, for sure. Sewing machine too. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. But, once again, not too much in here, by the looks of it. Any ticks? No, there's no ticks on me, we're all good. Okay. Rileton Court. Let's take a look here. Somebody threw the fridge in the uh, living room here. Got some old style doorways. Pretty empty, I'd say. And an upstairs too, we'll check it out in a sec. But ultimately, seems pretty empty. gonna stay up. How are you liking it? I love it. Vibe's great. Went down there, up here and up here. And this is uh pretty awesome. You're going down? No, I know, I'm kidding. Yeah, so there's a guy right there that still lives here too. Otherwise, this is mainly abandoned. There's something going on with that plant or whatever. Look, there's boards on the roof of this one for some reason. Door's open though. Yeah. It's a cool look though. <clears throat> this would have been a pretty nice neighborhood at, at the time, you know, I think. Cozy at least. This one's pretty ran through. Very ran through. This one smells relatively newer though. Abandoned, more newer, sort of. Yeah, nothing, nothing to see here really. Strangely, this one's completely boarded up. I don't know why. Oh dude, those things in the grass again. Oh wait, 
here we go, huh? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, looks like it was updated recently too, but yeah. I wonder if this stuff was here to, um, maybe they're gonna do asbestos work on, you know, see the stuff on the windows? I think they were doing asbestos work and just kind of stopped. Yeah. The uh, local kids are spraying the fire extinguisher all over. That's what oh, all the dust. That's what that is. The center, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, it really doesn't smell bad in this house. But it's empty. Beautiful home, probably built in the 60s. Pretty cool. I don't see too much else here. I mean, nice bathroom. Nice circular driveway too, two entrances. Yeah, I like that. 9B. I flipped this around. Look at all those ants. Whoa. So they're all over here. So I noticed secret entrance right here. Right off the bat, there's actually a couple things inside here. We got a kitchen as well. Kind of spooky in here, guys. Look at that, though. There was a whole dog bed in there or, or something. Dude, dude, look at look at the window. Whoa, is that bird? Yeah. Dude, they get trapped in on sag. How did that even happen? How did it get in here? That's so strange. Like, yeah. Wait, did it like break through, fall through this, and then like... Oh, it might have, yeah. Wow. Whoa. So it got trapped in here. A bag of stuff. Looks like newspapers. Oh, that's all it is. Was that like insulation? What's up? Hey, you find anything? This is a duplex. Actually? Yeah, as you can see the kitchen. Oh, yeah. And look at this. Some keys. Were these, you think these were keys to the house? Yeah, it says Watson, like the last name. Oh. Yeah, downstairs maybe. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Interesting. This is in pretty bad shape though. Yeah. Wait, there's another look. There's another set of stairs. Two staircases, yeah. Yeah. Well, pretty empty, pretty graffitied. So we just interviewed the house, I don't know if you can see, the house back behind me with the cars. And uh, he was some Asian guy, and he didn't even speak like English. So, um, yeah, I don't even, I, I'm sure he knows like what's going on, but there's no cameras or nothing. Like he was just really confused when we knocked on the, on the door. I was like, do you speak English? He's like, no. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, have a good day. So yeah, that was it. Uh, we're, we're gonna try to get another interview with uh, one of the other people around here, see if, um, see if they kind of know what's going on here. So these folks weren't home, but we got some abandoned apartments we can kind of check out here. Pretty cool, honestly. And this house, actually. I see the storm coming back. Let's see here. These are pretty large, actually. There's a sign on the door. There's a sign on the door? Oh. So in 2014, this was abandoned. The game here. Yeah. Wow, 10 years ago. 10 years, wow. years ago, this almost happened. Pretty much. That's the second date from, oh wait, no, that was 2010. This is 2014. Interesting. It's a long time ago. Yeah. There's this, I don't know if this is an office or something. Looks like an office, actually, instead of a house. Totally boarded though. New York Press Association, kind of cool. Oh, it actually kind of does open. So these two, I, I guess, offices now are pretty empty, I would say. And there's no way in. So there's one more house I kind of want to see on the main road. It's kind of larger. Look at the garage. It's kind of cool. Oh, and this is abandoned too, whatever this shop is here. Jeez. So this actually just opens what? Right up in the front. Oh, it's empty. Dang. 
This one is, uh, I like it though. Look what they did with the walls here. Cute little home. The mold is pretty evident, however. That garage. Oh yeah, there's that. I don't know, not much. Looks like we have one more abandoned building. If I'm not wrong, this looks abandoned. Definitely is. Yeah, figures. So this whole section here was probably just businesses, as this one is, which is still open, even though it's right in the path and uh, was supposed to be bought out. But yeah, this is all kind of a business center right here. No longer, oh, we're going that way, I guess. Pretty cool though, pretty cool place, right guys? Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I was not able to get any interviews today, but uh, that happens typically. Um, this was definitely a crazy uh, place, you know, pretty interesting. You hear about warehouse buyouts and other really large companies, but a Costco, I've never heard about. So that's pretty unique in my opinion, but it seems like it might get demolished uh, within the next year, that's just my guess. But uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching.